Peace, fire, and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program known here on the internet as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub Seven. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Even Ra. There are those in the so-called black community, in the so-called black ghetto or hood, there are those who are called African-American, Negro. There are those who are described in this matter so that we know who they are. And from among these, there are those who should be shamed of yourself. That you will make mockery of this young lady who is testifying in the Trayvon Martin uh, Zimmerman trial. I believe her name is Rachel Jantal, something to that effect. There are black people, dark Europeans rather, because black people would not do this to another black person because we have self-love, but there are those of us who are self-righteous, who think they are better than other black people, who think they can do better than other black people, and if you can, then I will continue to challenge you. I issue this challenge to you, since you can sit around and make mockery of Rachel Jantel, she is fat, she is black, she is ghetto, she is all these different things. She did not want anything or did not know she would be involved in something like this in her life. So according to where she comes from, she's doing the best she can because I'm very sure she loved and cared for Trayvon Martin. And you idiots think that you can do better. Let me tell you something. I challenge any of you to a debate on this issue or anything. So I can put you in her shoes. It is not easy to go in a court of law and testify. That's not a pretty place. I have been in courts of law to testify in my own behalf, defending myself. And it's not an easy thing to do. You are dealing with people who are very slick and very highly intelligent. And in the case of our sister, Rachelle Jantel, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very sure on that, but you, it's, she, you know who I'm talking about in this case. She is under increased pressure because this is a, uh, uh, a high... Uh, what's they call it? Oh man, what I'm talking about. Anyway, we know that it's in the public eye. And there are cameras in the courtroom. She is only 19 years old. 19 years old. No kind of experience, I'm very sure, with the legal system. No kind of experience with highly intelligent slicksters. And that's what the defense attorney for George Zimmerman has to do because they must defend their client. If you want to have an idea of what she's going through, then make a YouTube video and let us debate back and forth on this or any issue. And I will show you the pressure. The reason why many of you don't have videos on the internet is because some of you, and even some of you admit it, you cannot speak properly, whatever that is. You can't express yourself. You're dealing with people who can think real fast and they slip. She never asked for this. And when, unfortunately, when these predators when they see your weakness, they see that you're ignorant. 
And in this case, ignorant only means she does not know. She does not know who she really dealing with. Then they can take advantage of her. And I even heard listening to uh, CNBC, some of the commentators, some of the criminal defense lawyers and, and some ex-prosecutors, they even said she's not sophisticated. And many of you are not sophisticated. Many of you have weak opinion. That's why you will not make videos. That's why you can barely read and write. You cannot even respond in the comment section without getting angry and start cussing because you're frustrated because you, you don't know. And some of you saying that she makes black people look bad. The whole country is filled with illiterates. The high school dropout rate is climbing not only for black people, but for Caucasian people and for people going to public school in general. They are also dropping out of college. And it makes no difference if you did go to college, if you don't know anything about the law, if you don't know anything about what you are dealing with, it makes no difference because people will take advantage of you due to your ignorance. The reason why I suffered the way I did was because, not because I had no intelligence, not because I could not articulate, not because I could not talk, it is because I was ignorant of my situation. And so now you have the Zimmerman defense team bringing out the race car. This has nothing to do with race. It's the murder of an unarmed young man or child. You don't have to mention race at all. However, clearly, race was on the mind of George Zimmerman. And clearly, according to the testimony of Trayvon Martin's girlfriend, race has an effect because Trayvon looked upon George Zimmerman as a crazy cracker. And that is because of the situation that was not born or was not created by Trayvon or Zimmerman. But by y'all fake people running around here that don't want to deal with the race problem in a real manner, a real honest and open manner. So you have all these people expressing their hatred and they don't even know where the hate coming from. Well, black folks, we understand because you get tired of going into a building and somebody watching you. You're getting tired of going to jail and you know you're going to jail because you're black. There's a reason why we feel the way that we feel towards Caucasian people and Caucasian people are the, run, are the ones who are in control of the jail, control of the educational system, control of the media, all these different things. We have no choice. But for you to be angry at black people who ain't done nothing to you, what is your problem? You just hate somebody because they black. And you hate somebody because black people live in an unequal society, so there are laws designed to try to make equal what y'all made unequal. So you're going to get angry at black folks. We did not make none of these laws. All these laws was created and it was passed by Caucasian people. Because really, you didn't have to do, or Caucasian people don't have to do nothing for black folks. We're powerless. We got to, we are still in a slave-like position. Yes, Amasa, can you treat me better, Amasa? Can you give me a job, Masa? Can I have some toilet paper, Masa? Can I fall in love with you, Masa? If I fall in love with you, Masa, you're not going to lynch me, Masa, because I really love you, Masa. Still in a slave-like condition. So the Zimmerman defense, the uh, uh, his attorneys bring in race. And this case really has nothing to do with race. It is the murder of an unarmed child. Regardless of that child, regardless to the skin color of that child. The motivation could be racial, but it has nothing to do with race. So now 
the defense attorney for George Zimmerman want to try to turn it around and make make a racist or, or somebody of hate of Trayvon Martin, which still doesn't have nothing to do with the case. Trayvon Martin can be Adolf Hitler. Trayvon Martin can be Charles Manson. Trayvon Martin could be Jeffrey Dahmer. It has nothing to do with what happened on that day when this man pulled a gun on a child. This has, that has nothing to do with the issue, period. He was a child walking down the street, minding his own business, and this devil, this demon, comes up out of the forest and chase him down. And kill the unarmed child. Unarmed child. Was the child trying to steal? No. Was the child trying to rape? No. Was the child running to him? No. Zimmerman was running to the child. Zimmerman was scoping out the child. It was all Zimmerman's fault. Self-defense can only happen if Trayvon Martin approached him. And with the current testimony, we can clearly see that Zimmerman was the aggressor, the end of self-defense. And then he killed the child. Murder. He's a murderer. But now they want people to believe and see the racist. They're going to believe anything they want to anyway. It makes no difference. But they want to be able to say Trayvon was filled with hate. He hates white people. So what if he did? That's not the issue. The issue is this grown man murdered this child. That's the issue. Oh, he hates white people. White people don't have nothing to do with this. So what? So what if he hates he hate apples? So what if he hates giraffes? So what if he hates cars? That's not the issue. The issue, did this young boy, did this child deserve to be shot down, his life taken away from him? For what reason? It was not self-defense. And again, I challenge all you suckers that talk about this sister. Negroes so filled with self-hate think that you so better, so self-righteous. Bring your butt here. Debate me on any issue and I will show you the pressure that that poor sister is under. And you can talk about me how I'm black or I'm fat or however you want to do it or however you want to bring it and I'll shoot you down like a plane sending you to the ground to crash. I ain't never seen a bunch of self-hating Negroes before. Self-righteous and think you know it all and whatever. You should be shaming yourself. A bunch of modern voluntary slaves. <laughs> That's it. Drop down your comments. I hope some idiot take me up on my offer. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.